that number is going to start and we're recording. By the way, we're not going live. I'm going to, I don't know if I can edit this yet, but we're not going to go live. I'm going to uh, do these one, one at a time and hey. everything. So uh, tell the people who you are exactly. Yeah, my name's Will Paul. I grew up in Madison. I've known Stu since I was, geez, five years old probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so what's your last name, Will? Paul. Paul, pardon me? Paul. Paul, right, okay. So, uh, 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 Willie Paul was Lenny Roberts' brother. brother younger brother. Yep, yeah. Lenny Roberts, class of 71. What class were you, Will? 77. 77. So, uh, we, this is my second guest that is not in the class of 71. Willie was, like I said, was uh, Lenny's neighbor, well, Lenny's brother. Lenny's Lenny was brother, my neighbor. Yeah. Lenny was my good friend. Lenny's in Florida. Now, Lenny right? was in uh, Port Ritchie, Florida. Okay. And, and do you hear from him often? Or? Yeah, he's actually coming up for two weeks in October. Oh, okay. And he goes camping every year up there. Up where? At the, uh, Nelson Ledges. Oh, okay. Him and a bunch of guys that he worked with for 30 years. And they all meet up there in October and camp for a week. And okay, now where did he work for 30 years? Uh, he worked for uh, Warren Roofing. Oh, okay. Uh, sheet metal union or whatever you want to call Sheet metal? It. Uh, yeah, he worked at Warren Whipping. When I uh, saw him one time, I hadn't seen him in a number of years, he walked through the laboratory at uh, Millennium, well, it was called Millennium back then, it's called Crystal now. Okay. And he, all of a sudden, he walked through, he was working for HAVE, George Shoepeggy's company. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was working for them, and he walked through the lab, and I said, Lenny, you know, I was shocked to That's see a, him there. That was a sheet metal company. Yes, a yeah. sheet metal company, right. Yeah, he... He's a he's a character, and I don't I don't know if I'm going to see Lenny anytime soon. So, do you know the story about Lenny hitting the first home run? No. Lenny was working at what did they call it back then? Jacobs Field. Yeah. Jacobs Field, and Lenny was doing something there. He was working, and really? he got out a ball and a bat and hit a ball over the fence. Now, I might have that story wrong, really? but he claims he hit the first home run. Was it called Jacob's Field back then? Yeah. I think it was, yeah. right? So you ask him about that, yeah, he, and uh, have him uh, email me on that. I, I will definitely so, ask him about so that. So, actually, I hear more from his wife, Kathy, yeah. than I hear from Lenny. Kathy's so, a sweet girl. She is. Very nice lady. Right. And... Uh, uh, she was really always nice to me, my mom, yeah. when my mom was alive. Okay, so, and then also uh, Shorty. Shorty, he lives Shorty. in Buffalo. In Buffalo. Why because anybody want to live there? I don't know. God help him out there. <laughs> I, does he have a snowplow, I hope? No. Okay, oh, has he, he got he a snow shovel? He, yeah, he wears out a snowblower every year. Oh, snowblower, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, what the, the, the snow got over the roof one year. Yeah, you know, yeah. not too long ago? Yeah, he... Oh, he what's Shorty's real name? I forgot. Larry. Right. Larry, Larry, yeah, Larry, Larry Roberts, Roberts right. Yeah. So, and do you hear from him a lot? Uh, a few times a year. Okay. Whenever we can, you know, everybody kind of spread out. Okay. Know. And your parents, are they alive? Dad is. Dad's alive. Dad's still going strong. Yeah, I don't know if I remember him real well. He's, um, he's still going strong. What, what do you remember about our old neighborhood? You know, I was talking to my sister earlier out here about you. I seen About you, me? I seen you over in the crowd. Oh, okay. And I said, I can remember going by Stu's house on my bicycle and hearing the music coming oh. out of, on Lakeview. Yeah. I actually rented that house years later. The green one? Yeah. The first house I bought. Yeah. Okay. I rented that house from whoever owned it then. Was it Judy Nairo? Um, uh, I don't know what her been married so long name ago, was. I okay. Don't now, so you rented that house out for yeah. a while. Okay. But uh, I can remember that so well. I, I, I just told my sister that. You know? Okay. So that was one of the best times back then. What was I playing? Uh, a lot of Pink Floyd. Pink and, uh, Floyd? Back then. Okay. This was probably. 70s? 71? Yeah. 70? About the time I graduated. Yeah. 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 You graduated with Lenny? Uh, yes. 71. Same one. 71. Yep. 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 Uh, you married Vicky? Now, now, I ran into you at Barnes & Noble, right? I uh, could Was it you? Like? Let me think. How long ago? A few, several years ago? I near the Near the men's room at Barnes & Noble yeah. in Metro. Yeah. And I remember you telling me that you were always impressed by my record collection. Oh, I was amazed. I still have them all. I still have like 500 really? records. Yeah. 
So I, I don't play them anymore. I was, I was so impressed as a, <laughs> as a little kid to see oh, that. Oh, sure. You know, I mean, well, back then they were three bucks a piece. Oh. You know, you could get them and... and yeah, uh, no, they're not going to do that anymore. No. And, and now vinyl's <laughs> made a comeback. I probably should sell them because I don't listen to them. Yeah, yeah, you know, but they're not costing you anything. People, right, you know? right. So, so Lenny, when he... When he um, when he uh, uh, camps at uh, Nelson Ledges, is there a campground there? Yeah. Or, okay. There's an actual. Does campground. it have a name? Is it Nelson Ledges Campground? Nelson Ledges Campground. Okay. As far as I know. And is it for campers? Yeah. Like RV type camper things? They have two or three hundred places. It's it's more in the woods kind of camping, but there's. I don't know how to describe it. It's a great place. Now, Nelson Ledges, that's near like Thompson? Yeah, it's south of town. South, south of town. I think it's okay. off of uh, 420. Yeah, I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah, so. it's, it's a great place to camp. Uh huh. Yeah. So you're you're making wheel night regularly. This, you were here last year. I, right? I've been to every one of them. Every one? Did you go when it was wine night down in uh, Geneva, no, LA? No, okay, no. just since it's come just back to. It's I just out. interviewed uh, uh, Larry Jones. Okay. That, that does this yeah. for us. So, Good so guy. okay. So, do you enjoy it then? Do you? Yeah, I do. So, I okay. Get to see people you know you yep. haven't seen in years. Yep. See you next year. Have you seen anybody <laughs> tonight that you were surprised to see so far? No. Other than me? and I'm not surprised. I wasn't surprised no, to see you. No. I was glad to see you. Man. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. People recognize me quickly, and I can't figure out why. You look just like you did in 70. You're a little grayer, <laughs> but you look a just lot like grayer. you did. But also, uh, I, I get a lot of stares. I'm not sure. I think it's because I'm so lovely. Might be. I think that's what it is. But I, I don't know, but people, I, I, I walk out there to try to find people to interview, and they're kind of looking at me. I, I don't know if they think, like, wondering what I'm doing or, or what. But uh, anyway, it's, it's I fun. I heard nothing. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, that music's a problem. Uh, hopefully, we can speak up and, and get past the music. Yeah. Uh, or maybe we could throw something over that speaker. Our, uh, Almost as big as the speakers I used to have. <laughs> Are you uh, still married? I'm still married to Vicki, yep. She's not here tonight because she's uh, nursing her mom. Her mom just... Uh, uh, Bev? Yeah. Oh, you, know, you know the whole oh, family. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, Bev uh, just had a pacemaker. Oh, okay. And so that was just a couple days ago. So Vicky's taking care of her and uh, let me use the car. I'm not, I've only got one car right now, so uh, which is no problem. But uh, uh, she had the car for a while, so I had to go to the bar a half a mile away. And if I wanted to get something to eat, or if I didn't want to cook or get a beer, or you know, but I do a lot of walking anyway. So uh, what about Tony? Uh, Tony, we've not heard from Tony Copeland in a really? long time. Yeah, we, there was a falling out there. But we've not heard a lot. And Billy, I, I, I think you know he died, right? Oh. He was in the Philippines and died in a uh, uh, motorcycle accident. Oh, that's been... If it's not been 10 years ago, it's been pretty close. I never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. I grew up with Billy. Yeah. Vicky? What, was Billy in your class? Yeah. Or was he? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I've forgotten that. Yeah. yeah. Be so uh, yeah, so he passed away. Um, so I mean, half my family's passed away. So I'm more than half. And so it's uh, something nobody escapes. You know, that's for sure. Push are all you can get. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> so what uh, what do you remember from high school that was the most fun that you missed? Is there anything you miss about high school? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> I didn't like school from day one. No, no. Uh, oh. My parents dropped me off the first day of first grade. I beat them home. Because where we lived, you could cut through the woods the redbirds. <laughs> and they dropped me off, and they went around the road. And, went the road. and you were sitting there when they got off? sitting on the step when they pulled in. Um, did, did you go to Madison your entire time? Yeah. Did Lenny go to school in Madison? Uh, Lenny probably started fifth or sixth grade in there. Before that, okay. he was in I was going to say, I don't remember Lenny in the early grades. Yeah, he was a, 
born in West Virginia, and they were there there until he's probably fifth grade, and then they moved up here. Okay, okay. Yeah, Lenny and I were close. Uh, we had the uh, the badminton court over at your house. Yeah. We built the badminton court. We had some some tough games. Uh, he's a competitor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, is he still playing golf? Yeah. Do you play golf? I, do you know why I don't play golf? I don't know my ass from a hole in the ground. And that makes that game that makes really tough. <laughs> that makes that game really tough. He's too competitive for me. Is he? Like is he? He plays three days a week. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lenny and I actually played poker together while, while oh, we got okay. back together. And we were doing some traveling to poker uh, tournaments and stuff. He loves it. Pardon me? He loves that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually was with Lenny when I made my biggest catch four. Oh, really? I was with Lenny. Okay. So we were down in, uh, I think it was, if I remember right, it was in Hubbard, Ohio. Okay. And that was my biggest catch. Oh. And Lenny was with me. So we drove down there together. And, he busted early, and I, 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 I made some money. He still plays down. Florida. Does he? Yeah. Does he? Is, what, who, where does he play? Do you he, know? He lives in a like a gated community okay. down there, but there's like three or four thousand houses in there. Oh. And they have a huge community center. Oh wow. And he, a couple nights a week, he plays cards. Oh no kidding. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I tried to get him in my online game, but uh, at the time they had an Apple. Apple and then he, I couldn't. Lenny has a hard time with a phone. <laughs> You're not going to get him on a computer. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> he has no desire to even think about it. Yeah, yeah. I know Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, it's been hey, good, good talking to you. I'm glad you intercepted me out there. It's great to see uh, you. Man. Great glad. to see you as always. One of the ones I look forward every year. Oh, I appreciate that. No I appreciate doubt. that. Um, yeah, we have, we have fun in our neighborhood. Everybody has fun in their oh, yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. You know, so if they don't, they're, they're doing something, something wrong. wrong. Yeah, yeah, something wrong. It was a great neighborhood. It right? was, it was. It was a great neighborhood. Yep, yep. I kind of right. miss that. Yeah, but absolutely. Where do you live now? I, I'm in Romy Shores. Where are you? I'm in Austinburg. Oh, really? I'm right off 45. Yeah. yeah, I go through there quite a bit. Uh, Mill Creek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mill Creek is... Uh, East off 45, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. We, we just bought the house there last month. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I was living in Perry and uh, right on Route 20. You can't handle that. Yeah. That yeah. traffic is torture. Oh, yeah. So quiet out there. Oh, good. Good. Tuesday, we'll be moved in completely. I'm trying to think of classmates that live out that way. I know an older guy, you, you may not know him, Dale Schuchka lives out in that general area. Do you know Dale? Yeah. And uh, his wife, uh, Peggy Murray, I believe. Yeah, Steve Murray's sister. Steve Murray's sister, I think. Yeah, okay. I, I could have all that wrong. I think it is. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, he lives out there somewhere. Yeah. So, all right, man. Hopefully I'll run into him. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right.